Secrets and then Mary AEC, student and that student entrepreneur. And um, those of you who want to make purchases there on Amazon, you can do that. And these are my books, as usual, as you know. And um, you make orders from Amazon. So um, we're trying to sort of galvanize um, the black community so that we can help each other. That's how we do it. You know, you, you can't, you can't do it on your own so we keep helping each other on, on that basis all right so i will shoot by continuing from where we left off is from page 111 of my book um it was on childhood anxiety disorder so i'll continue research in this area is difficult to perform because as children grow, their fear change, making it difficult for researchers to obtain enough data and thus more reliable results. Between the ages of six and eight, children fear of the dark and imaginary creatures decreases. So it means, obviously, those who have kids, um, you know that uh, from the ages of six and eight, that fear of monster and all that um, deception and fear, false evidence appearing real, uh, minimizes. So they don't really um, fear all these kind of things that parents tell them, you know, sometimes just to scare them not to um, hurt themselves or go to certain areas. So six and eight, um, that imaginary sort of creatures, monsters and all that decreases, you know, so with time it, it, it goes away, especially when they hit their um, teenage years. So, but they become more anxious about school performance and social relationships. So we are talking about childhood anxiety disorders. And I think most of our kids have got that sort of preliminary um, fear of certain things, especially when school is about to reopen. Some of them also have the fear of writing examination when exams are very close. Impending examination, they have to do preps, they have to prepare for the examination and all that. Some of them go through that cycle of fear 
and panic, you know, just about the thoughts of going to write the exams. They go through so many stress. So, you know, anxiety is all over the place. And even some of the kids are very particular about going into the public or going into friends, going into um, where her or his friends have gathered, especially in school. They don't want the crowd. You know, some want to res be very reserved and, you know, don't want the crowd. So some of these things can be picked up, especially when you're a teacher. You have to be very observant, very vigilant in looking at all these pointers because these kids are very, very um, secretive in terms of their behavior. So if you are not very observant, you're not going to pick it up. So as a teacher, when you are around the kids, especially playtime, um, lunchtime, and then teaching them in the classroom, you make sure that you observe, be very vigilant, so that you don't pick on them unnecessarily to penalize them because some of them are going through this internal stress, internal anxieties. So if you know about these things, you're not going to keep pushing and keep stressing the kids beyond their limit. So let's carry on. If children experience an excessive amount of anxiety during the stage, this could lead to development of anxiety disorders in later life. So teachers sometimes pin these things up because at the age of six and eight, obviously they are in full-time education. So I'm trying to hit on these points and then sort of emphasize it for teachers to be aware of that. So it is saying that if children experience an excessive amount of anxiety during these stages of their life, then it could well develop into a later life anxiety disorder in their lives. But if you're a teacher and you're able to spot it out, you can definitely support and help the child. And maybe that help, that little help that you're going to give that child is going to alleviate that stress, is going to you know, bring that person out of that future um, eventuality that is going to destroy their lives. And I think there's some kind of a background noise is raining a bit out there. So if you hear that raining sound, please bear with me. So yeah, in later life, if that is persistent and if it's going to be a problem in the later life of that kid, of that child, is going to be very excessive, very uncontrollable, very persistent, very continuous. And that is when that individual needs support. But especially it's picked up in schools and then it is referred to the GP so that they take it on board and try to help that person. So let's continue from this place. Childhood anxiety disorders are caused by biological and physiological factors. Several studies have shown that maternal overcontrol is related to higher levels of child anxiety, especially where the mothers don't allow their children to experience, to sort of, um, you know, explore and exploit things for themselves because as a child you need some kind of flexibility in terms of your time of play and then for your parent to allow you to do some exploits explore other areas of your life the freedom to um, you know get in there and get some adventurous um, tendencies going on you need to be adventurous. And when the mothers and the parent is overprotective, they don't want you to hurt yourself, they don't want you to have any problems, they don't want you to go and you know 
develop some kind of anything that is going to cause problems. So they keep you away from all that adventure. And when they keep you away from all that adventure, you become timid. And when timidity is set in, your confidence is a bit disturbed. And if your confidence is a bit disturbed, then obviously um, when the time comes for you to go out there and play with your mates and have some fun, obviously you will start experiencing that sort of panic and fear of certain things because you haven't been allowed to explore. You haven't been allowed to have that adventure for quite some time because your parent is keeping you away from that. So that's why it's saying that over control of related issues like that, higher control, that gives the kids that high level of child anxiety. So let's continue from this place.